Hello, Ramley and other NFL family. Payo time here. You're a Canadian Ram fan. And yes, the Rams have been eliminated from the postseason. Boo. But the good news is, if you're still a fan of the Rams like me, you can get forward to seeing what they do all offseason, celebrate what they did this year, because, oh man, they did a lot. And uh, we're going to have fun covering this team all offseason long. But in this video, I just want to ask you know, kind of five questions that I have, questions, topics, things to discuss uh, among Ram fans and NFL fans as a whole. So uh, if you like this kind of video, feel free to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And the first question I have is about the Rams cap space. Yes, the Rams. Now, let's uh, let's rewind a little bit here. Back in... Uh, September, it was reported by Adam Scheffner of ESPN. According to league sources, the Rams are carrying $75 million of dead money against their salary cap in 2023, um, but have no significant dead cap money. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about this. If we go to the Rams uh, on overthecap.com uh, here, you'll see that the Rams' uh, effective cap space is 25 million uh cap space is 41 million and i'm <clears throat> from my googling effective cap space is mainly looking at the money that's on the 53 man roster but i we don't need to get into the nitty gritty of that but look at this in dead money only 752 and or sorry 700,000 752,000 $765. Folks, the credit card's been paid. That's right. Yeah, we're, the Rams are out of debt. Their needs are met. And they got some money to spend. And if we look at this uh, fun little chart here by PFF, uh, where it talks about every team's effective cap space in 2024 and draft capital, the Rams are right here with a, a plethora of teams, dare I say, in the... A lot of money to spend, a lot of draft capital. So excited for that. Definitely thankful that uh, the Rams are in a much better place financially. And uh, I think, you know, this front office is going to make some moves. Which leads me in to my next kind of question is, what are the Rams going to do about their free agents? And I'm going to have a separate video going through all the different free agents, but just to kind of headline like Demarcus Robinson, do you reassign him? What are you going to do with, uh, you know, Kevin Dotson? Uh, you know, he's played at just such a high caliber level. I think you got to reassign him. So there's a lot of question marks here. And uh, I'll, like I said, in another video, I'm going to go through each individual one, but it's, it's a big question. And you know, with, you have to use that cap space effectively in signing your homegrown talent, but also you know signing your well, I guess for free agents like a Killer Weatherspoon or Kevin Dotson, like you traded for them, but like so signing them. But then also, are you going to go and are you going to sign a big name free agent? You know, the Rams have the ability to do that. So, question around free agents definitely something I'm interested in. The next thing I'm interested in, I know a lot of you are interested in this too. The 19th overall pick. Yes, with Rams sadly losing to the Lions, but we don't need to talk about it. Um, <laughs> the Rams have the 19th overall pick in the NFL draft. And if we look here at uh, just the whole draft, uh, you know, in general, it's weird. They have their first, second, third, a uh, fourth round, a fifth round pick. Uh, they have a sixth round pick and a seventh round pick. Like they actually have a pick in every round of the draft. Like that's weird for the Rams, but I'm here for it. And I'm of the mindset that pick's getting traded. I I will believe that pick will actually be picked when the Rams actually say a name. But I, given that the Rams have not made a first round pick since Jared Goff in 2016. I am not of the mindset that they're going to use that pick. So let me know in the comments below if you think they're going to actually pick a player and you know, what position. I'm of the mindset of no way the the Rams are going to try and trade for some veteran, you know, pass rusher or cornerback 
Uh, you know, maybe someone on offense, but I, I don't believe that first round pick is uh, going to actually be a Ram selection. But I could be wrong, as I often am. So let, let, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. My next question here, and I'll go full screen for this, because uh, this is kind of a sensitive topic, but I want to, it, it's, it's a question Ram fans have been asking, so I want to talk about it. Backup quarterback position. Uh, Stetson Bennett was drafted last year. We don't know exactly what his situation is. Wishing him all the best. We've heard very little the speculation that he was in, um, you know, um, like re recovery for, for alcoholism. And uh, I don't want to belittle that situation at all. But I do want to ask the question, you know, is Stetson Bennett ever going to play football? Um, I, you know, I'd get excited about it if he was coming back for the Rams, um, if he's healthy enough. But do the Rams re-sign Carson Wentz? Do the Rams draft, you know, uh, to his brother? I don't know. Like, there's so many questions around this. Do they use one of those draft picks for selecting a quarterback? You know, after seeing what the Packers have done from Favre to Rodgers to now Love, with Matthew Stafford's age, hey, drafting a guy and to sit behind Stafford for a couple of years, that's appealing. So I, I'm just, you know, asking that question about, you know, what are the Rams going to do with the backup quarterback position? And then my final question, and I know a lot of you guys are following this really closely, Raheem Morris and the Rams coaching staff. It happens every year, coaching staff turnover. We know that happens, but... Number one, the first question is, is Raheem Morris going to get a head coaching job? Uh, we, I know that the there's interest from the Commanders uh, and also from the Seahawks. And I think there's one other team. Let me know in the comments below. But Raheem Morris is getting job interviews. We feel like he's been close to getting you know, a head job last year somewhere. But is, is he going to get the Chargers job? Is he going to get... You know, the commander's job, is he going to be in one of these, you know, these situations that gives him that opportunity to be a head coach again? And if that happens, who's going to be the Rams defensive coordinator? Is it going to be a Brandon Staley? Is it going to be, you know, an Aub Aubrey Pleasant? Is it going to be a, you know, someone that we we don't know? So that those are... You know, that's kind of the, the final question I'm asking right now. But I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning into this video. I'm excited to hang with you guys all off-season long and uh, talk some Rams. And as always, go Rams, horns up, and peace out. Let's go Rams.